In this uh, tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, study templates in PlanMakeRomex 2D module. So studies are uh, image collections that are related uh, to each other, so usually uh, the same patient's uh, images, for example, internal image collection. And so these studies, uh, instead of the layouts that are uh, that are meant only for uh, temporary image viewing in a specific uh, layout. These studies uh, can be permanently saved here at Romexis, so we can always open the images in, uh, in the collection that, that we built. We can always view them uh, in such a layout together. So uh, in this tutorial we will uh, take a look at where we can find the studies, uh, how to view them, um, how to make a new study, uh, add images to that, how to arrange the images uh, in a study. And then finally, uh, we'll take a look at how we can build our own uh, study templates in the admin module. So uh, let's go to 2D module uh, so that we can find our 2D image templates. So uh, here um, in this image browser, uh, we have a separate tab uh, called studies. So this is naturally where we can find uh, the existing studies of the patient. So here, uh, if we have several uh, studies for the same patient, we would we would see here a list uh, of all the ready-made uh, studies uh, for the patient. So uh, how how we can actually make the studies? We can also uh, capture, for example, intraoral images directly uh, into a study. Or then maybe we have taken already the images and uh, we want to uh, build the study afterwards. So uh, let's take a look at this uh, one study that we already have here. Uh, so uh, we could select here if we had also several uh, studies here on the list. Uh, we could select uh, by clicking uh, the study that we want to view. So now that I clicked on this uh, row here, uh, we see that all the images uh, in the study uh, got this light border uh, around them. So that means that they are uh, selected, they are active. And now, uh, if I would click here on View Selected, uh, we would be able to view all of these images. If I would only like to um, view some um, sub-selection uh, of these images, I could click on the images so that they are not active anymore. Uh, I, could, um, I could define here uh, which images uh, would be viewed. So now only those images that have a light border around them would be uh, would be shown if I would uh, click here on view selected or then I can uh, select them again and this view study always opens uh, the whole study anyway we could add also a comment uh, for the study or we could delete the study uh, we could clear here uh, the selection of images so let's uh, click on view study so that we can open open the whole study so like we see uh, these images um, all of these images get opened here and uh, in, in that kind of order where we had defined them uh, when building the study or, or when capturing the images uh, to the study and uh, these images have uh, similar controls as, as, the, as always to the images when they get opened here so, so we could view and, and process these images like, um, like any uh, 2D images. This uh, image browser uh, still stays here uh, on the bottom. So, but we could we could hide that by uh, by going to upper toolbar and by clicking uh, the image browser. So now uh, we have more space uh, for uh, for viewing the study. And uh, let's then see how we can make a new study uh, with existing images and how we can arrange uh, images in the study. So if I go to the upper toolbar and uh, let's select new study. So firstly I can select uh, on which template I want to build my study. So uh, in Romexis uh, there are a couple of uh, ready-made standard templates already. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll show later how to build a custom template if there's no suitable template here. So I'll actually use the same images and uh, I'll select the same template that we're using here in this previous study. So it's already selected. I'll click OK. And uh, now uh, we get the template opened. 
So next uh, we need to uh, add the images there. So image browser uh, is already visible here. I'll uh, click on this browser uh, to see the images. And uh, now uh, I can uh, add images uh, to the template by, by double clicking on them. So I could, of course, I could uh, look for uh, the images that uh, uh, I, I could look for the images and, and start with those images that go to the template first because uh, when I double click on the image uh, it goes to the first free slot uh, of the template so I, I could have uh, uh, clicked on the images in, in the order in which they appear here uh, in the template but we can also uh, arrange the images later so it uh, doesn't matter that much uh, in what order we add them so now our image browser uh, was hidden because I have this setting. Let's change the setting. Uh, this um, option, uh, close browser on a double click. So every time I double click on an image, uh, the image browser uh, gets closed. So I will remove that setting. So now uh, the image browser will stay, vis will stay visible. So I'll click double click on another image and that got added uh, to the next free slot. And let's see, maybe we add still uh, some images here. And uh, let's not build uh, the whole study here, but you, you get the idea. So we can just double click uh, on the images uh, that the patient already has and they get added uh, to the next free slot in the, in the study. And how to arrange then uh, the images here or how to remove images uh, so this was about adding images, but if we notice that uh, there were some image that we didn't want to include here, uh, we can remove it uh, from the study layout by tracking it outside of the viewing area. So it still asks our con confirmation whether we want to detach uh, the image really. So let's uh, remove it. So this means that it got um, it got removed uh, here from the study, but of course it doesn't disappear anywhere uh, from Romexis. So, so we can still find the same image uh, among these images in the image browser uh, for the patient. So by tracking, just by grabbing on the image uh, with the left mouse button down and tracking it outside of this image viewing area, uh, we can remove an image uh, from the uh, study template. And uh, we can arrange these images here um, in the study by simply uh, by simply grabbing uh, on the image and, and moving it uh, to, a lay, uh, to a slot uh, where we want to move the image. And if the, um, uh, if the slot was empty, uh, the, the image just uh, gets transferred uh, from this previous slot uh, to the new one. But if um, if uh, the if the slot is already occupied and we try to track uh, another image uh, to the same slot, uh, Romexis will ask us uh, whether we want to swap the images. So this means that uh, they changed uh, places. Or then uh, another option is uh, when we try to track it uh, on a slot that was already occupied is uh, moving an image and this means now that we would move the images on top of each other. So let's try out that option. And now uh, we got this small slider uh, and we can, uh, we can browse uh, all of the images that have been stacked uh, here uh, in the same slot. And here actually now uh, we can't uh, move uh, the image that is, uh, that is uh, below uh, another image. So uh, we always can only uh, move uh, the topmost image. So now, for example, we could just track uh, this image. Maybe it would be rather, rather here in the template. So, yeah, so that's, that's about adding images here, uh, removing them uh, from the uh, from the study template and uh, about about moving the images uh, between the different slots. So this way uh, we could build uh, new studies uh, with, with the existing images of the patient. 
so let's not uh, finish building this study because uh, we already got the idea. Instead, uh, let's move on uh, to admin module uh, where we can see uh, how we can build custom templates. So like I said, uh, if uh, those standard templates already made in Romexis don't serve your needs, uh, you may build your own ones here in admin module. So let's get here and we'll go to imaging and uh, templates is already chosen here. So this is a list uh, of all the existing templates we have. Uh, if there's anything uh, we want to change in these existing templates, we may select the template on the list and then we could select update uh, here on the bottom. So uh, if there's just something uh, something small we want to change in them, uh, that's possible. Of course, we could then also inactivate the templates, so uh, if we don't need need all of them here. Uh, but I'll, I'll start a new uh, template from scratch, or actually I will, I will uh, build about the same kind of template as uh, what we have here. So I'll, I'll click on new uh, to start a new template, and I'll uh, give my template a name. Click OK, and now uh, I'll uh, need to select the layout first, so I'll click on layout. Uh, here uh, we already have uh, some layouts uh, that we could start with, so, um, so if we want to use uh, any of these standard layouts, so this means like for, for images or it's like this, and here one image on the bottom, two images uh, on, on top of that. But then we can uh, build any kind of custom template also, so here, uh, for example, for this template, uh, I can define how many, uh, how many image slots uh, there would be uh, on each row. So firstly, I'll, uh, I'll define uh, how many images on the first row, 7, on the second row, 7, and on the last, uh, 7 as well. So now I have this 3 times 7 uh, template. And uh, to finish, uh, defining this layout, I'll, I'll click on the uh, on the layout that I just finished. I'll click on there. So uh, now we can still uh, define uh, a couple of things about the image slots here uh, in the template. Uh, so I can modify uh, the image slots by double clicking uh, on the slot. So let's see, for example here, uh, we can define uh, what is uh, the type of the image that belongs uh, to this uh, template slot. It's already intro row, I will leave it like that. And then I can uh, change uh, the sensor orientation. Uh, so if I'm capturing images directly uh, to a study, I can, I can define the orientation here. I could also um, change uh, the alignment, so these X and Y alignments would control uh, how the image would be aligned uh, in this available slot uh, in the template. So if I want to arrange them, uh, arrange them, um, still adjust the layout, how uh, how the slots will be displayed in the template, I can uh, I can adjust uh, through these uh, functions here. And uh, then uh, if we're capturing the uh, images directly in the template. Um, I can define what is the exposure order, so for example, uh, this image I would be capturing first. I'll, uh, I'll put one there, and uh, this other option is a storage, or it's like, um, it's, uh, it's the order in which uh, the image would be sent to storage. I don't need that, I will, I will just uh, change that to zero. And finally, uh, when it's an intro image, we can, we can define uh, which tooth numbers uh, will be visible here. So I'll, I'll select these two options and uh, let's click OK. So now we have one uh, one slot defined and the other other slot uh, in a similar way. Let's see, also here we'll change uh, the sensor orientation and um, define the tooth numbers. And here I'll uh, type 2 and 0 again, and then ready. 
and this way uh, we could work on uh, through the whole template and if we want to uh, if we want to hide uh, some of these slots uh, from the template so here uh, for example would never uh, be any images uh, we can double click and we can select this void that will remove uh, the image from the layout like this so like this we can we can double click uh, on the slots and uh, fin finally when we have finished we would uh, click on OK and uh, we would have our new uh, template added to this list so uh, that would mean that when uh, when we would be capturing new studies or uh, or building new studies during the 2D module we would have our new custom template uh, to be chosen among these templates here